हे गाइस दिस इज सुभाषेश मिश्रा योर टेस्ट कोच टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट सीरियलाइजेशन देन वी विल लर्न हाउ टू कन्वर्ट ए जावा ऑब्जेक्ट टू जेसन ऑब्जेक्ट यूजिंग जैक्सन एपीआई इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी विल लर्न हाउ टू क्रिएट कॉम्प्लेक्स पेलोड यूजिंग पोजो क्लासेस एंड वी यूज्ड गेटर एंड सेटर मेथड्स इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉस्ड दो ट्यूटोरियल्स डू वॉच इट फॉर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग इन टूडेज ट्यूटोरियल आई हैव नॉट कवर दो थिंग्स but we will use same example and pojo concepts so do watch it before you watch this video okay so let's understand what is serialization in java so serialization is a mechanism to convert an object into stream of bytes so that it can be written into a file transported through a network or stored into a database and what is deserialization deserialization is just a reverse of serialization so in simple words serialization is converting an object to stream of bytes and deserialization is rebuilding the object from stream of bytes java serialization api provides the features to perform serialization and deserialization the serialization and deserialization process is platform independent what it means it means you can serialize an object in a platform and deserialize in a different platform you need to implement java.io serializable interface to be eligible for serialization so your class should implement that so why we need to learn serialization while learning rest assure api testing we know in api testing data gets exchanged between client and server in json format so we need to create json objects using pojos you know pojo in java stands for plain old java object to create a json object from java object or pojo is called serialization i repeat to create a json object from java objects is called serialization to do serialization we can use any json parser apis today we will use jackson apis which is very much famous in the industry you can also use json library so today in our example we will understand with jackson api jackson api is a high performance json parser for java we can perform serialization deserialization reading a json file writing a json file and lot more things using jackson api to use jackson api you need to add maven dependencies to your project so what you can do you can go to mavenrepository.com if i'll search maven repository i'll get mavenrepository.com you can go here and you can search here jackson okay so here you are seeing right jackson database click on this and here you can see the latest version if i'll go here here i can see the dependency okay maven dependency this is the maven dependency you can copy this and you can go to your project and you can put into your form file so this is my project so if you are if you can see here i have already the dependency okay what you can do you can add the same dependency to your project and once you have added it right click on your project and go to maven and here update project and click on force update and click okay so you will download all the jackson database library and you can start using it okay i am not doing it because i have it already now what we will do we will use the previous tutorial example so here if you have seen we have a complex json where we have created the object and this is our pojo classes we have already created a pojo class and uh, we have an object which we are sending as a payload in this class complex.json class here you can see that we are sending it as a object and we are creating this object here and we are sending that object in this here 
so i will recommend you to watch my previous video if you have not watched it so it will help you understanding these things in a better way okay anyway i'll provide the links in the video description you can watch it so we have a pojo or java object already now we will convert our object to json string there are many ways or methods available in the object mapper class so what is this object mapper class this object mapper class is given by jackson library this is the most powerful class provided by jackson api and maximum time we will use this class object mapper class is useful to create json object json array converting a java object to a json object and vice versa so let's use the object mapper class to convert a java object to a json object okay so what we'll do now first what we'll do we'll create object of object mapper class so we'll write object mapper object mapper equal to new object mapper okay so here you can see some errors so what you need to do you need to import object mapper for jackson dot data band okay we have imported it now what we will do we will use this object and we will write string converted json equal to object mapper dot write value as string so we are converting to this object to a string so here you can see i have taken a string and i have defined this variable and i am assigning object mapper dot write value as string this is the method for this and we are passing this sp sp is the object okay so let's print it converted json is okay for now i'll comment this part okay let's execute it so here you can see we are getting instructor this 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 now if you will see this this was a payload right so this got converted to a string and now what we will do we will pass this string to our api so earlier what we are doing we are sending it as a object now we will send the string okay and let's see the result here the body remains same but here what we are doing we are sending it as a string so you saw how to write java object as a string now we will see how to write a java object into a file so here you saw how we can write into a string now we will see we will write into a file a json file and we will send it okay so to do that what you need to do anyway let me comment it out this part this is the this is how we can send so first we will create a file even i can comment these two lines okay first what you can do you can get the current user directory to do that we will write string user directory equal to system dot get property and here we will write user dot dir okay it will give you the current user directory then we will what we will do we will write file for example output json file 
equal to new file we keep the path user directory sorry user directory plus where we want to keep src slash test slash resources we we'll keep inside the resources and we will name it as for example payload dot json ok let me put it down so I need to import this import file java.io so here we are writing to a json file and giving path of the json file so this is the path where the json file will get created right so finally what we'll do finally we'll write object mapper dot writer with default pretender maybe with this dot write value and what will pass here or output json file ok and what is this value this value is nothing but our object sp ok now let's execute this So we are getting some error. I missed this. Let's execute now. Okay. It, we are not printing anything right we are generating the file so let's see if it, it got generated so it should be src test resources right so let me refresh the project see here you can see this is the payload which we are trying to send right you will see this it will match with this whatever payload we are sending previously as a object this is also same thing same thing we are sending it as a payload of json so that's all about the serialization in rest api testing here we converted java object to json object using jackson api in our next tutorial we'll see what is this realization thank you if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section i'll try to explain it please like share and subscribe to my channel